Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another cool find video today. Now, if you saw the last one, I showed off this here and this is a Stylophone from the Rack and Tours 2008 tour. These were only sold on their tour and it's kind of a cool little thing. And so I did a video about that. Well, today I've found another Stylophone, but I think it's even cooler. Here it is. This is an original Stylophone. It's actually a generation two Stylophone. There's been five generations of Stylophone. But anyway, this one has the original box. As you can see, everything seems to be intact. And if you look on the end here, you see it says treble. More about that in a second. But let's go ahead and get this box open because this is this is pretty darn cool. So if we open it, we see right away the styrofoam. Let me take this out, I'll show you. We've got, so see the manual fit right here in this depressed part of the styrofoam. And um, this is actually has the stylophone inside, but I'm gonna set it to the side for one second so I can show you what else is in here that is super cool. So check this out. This is the original information that came with this era of stylophones. Well, look, if we go in here, it gives us a bunch of, oh, by the way, it has the black trim piece. If you wanna replace the white trim piece with the black trim piece, this is still intact and <laughs> it was in there, but um, it tells you kind of how it works, how, it, how to play it. Um, talks a little bit about the notes and whatnot. Gives you a couple of songs that you can play. We have a little uh, literature here in the middle. And then we've got, this shows the entire Stylophone catalog from that time, including the um, amp that was pretty rare. And uh, then if we go a couple more pages here, we've actually got a small 45 record album. And then there's another one here, and these appear to be in pretty good shape. So there's actually 245 records in here with all this literature, including the uh, black trim piece. There is our stylophone. When you pop the back open on these, this one has the bar resistors here. See those bars? And earlier ones had individual, um, you know, mylar resistors there. So. This is uh, probably a little bit later, but you notice this one is white and the white indicates treble. Remember how I said it says treble on the box? Well, in this era of stylophones, there was actually three different models. There was the standard model, which was black, the treble model, which was white, and then there was a base model, which was kind of a beige color. Um, now you didn't see a lot of the base ones, but the treble ones, actually a lot of people said they liked the treble ones better than the standard ones. And then when they went to the third generation of stylophone, it was only available in the treble, basically the same octave as this. And it's exactly what it sounds like. They're, um, you know, kind of pitched an octave apart. Now, another interesting thing here, when I got this, it worked, but barely. Like when you would touch the stylus here to the keypad, you would get a lot of static. And if you kind of jiggled it around a little, you might get a note. It worked, but barely. And all I did was literally, I cleaned it with some contact cleaner. Um, you know, just, I use the WD-40 brand, but there's a lot of different brands of contact cleaner out there. And I just cleaned up the, uh, the uh, keypad here and the tip of the stylus, it works fine. So you can see there's a little switch up here and you can see the way that sticks out the side that doesn't look factory and indeed it's not. But this was a common mod that was done on these stylophones because there's no volume control on these early stylophones. So what a lot of people would do is put a three or uh, two-way switch in there and then they would solder another resistor so it would go in series with the speaker. So in this position, you're going through the um, speaker and the resistor. And in this position, you're just going straight to the speaker. So basically it gave it like a quiet mode because they are actually quite loud. So one other thing, the previous owner apparently was pretty meticulous because look, they even notched the styrofoam there so that that switch would clear. That's pretty crazy, like to take the time to do that because normally that would have just been solid there. So let's hear what this baby sounds like. Okay, here is our styrofoam. I went ahead and put the battery in it. Let's uh, turn it on, pop the stylus out and touch one of the pads. And of course we hear that stylophone sound. So as you can see, it works pretty well. And of course the vibrato still works as well. So, there you go. Let me demonstrate the volume mod real quick. 
so much, much quieter. I'm not sure how well that will come out on the camera, but... So by the way, remember I said this one came with the trim piece. Well, that goes here. Well, one thing I wanted to note here, if you look at this, it has the numbers one, two, three, four, and then we've got one and a half, three and a half, four and a half, et cetera, up here. So it has the numbers on it. If I take that off, it has the letters. Now that is sort of indicative of the age because originally the oldest stylophones just had the letters and then they started putting the numbers on it and all the modern ones have numbers. Well, this one was probably somewhere in the transition period because they included both. So one other thing that you might be interested in is if I slide this over, here's the new Stylophone Bowie, which effectively is emulating this because this is what David Bowie used. He used this treble stylophone. And so this one here is basically an emulation of that. Well, let's hear them side by side. Why not? Do the vibratos. So, interestingly enough, the vibrato seems to be a lot more present on the newer one. And the older one is definitely louder. Okay, so one other thing that I don't want to do here is plug it in direct into the audio interface so you can hear the direct audio. So I have a cable here that has eighth on one end and quarter on the other. Now, by the way, the output on this is eighth inch mono, whereas on these newer ones, it is eighth inch stereo. So one interesting thing to note, let's go ahead and plug that in. You know, when you plug this in, it does not cut the local speaker. It does send it to the out, but it does not cut the local speaker. So again, the volume is kind of uh, helpful here because it turns it down so you can hear more of the amplified signal opposed to, uh, you know, the actual signal here. But here's what it sounds like with the direct audio vibrato is on. So there you go, that's my latest cool find, this here vintage stylophone with the uh, speaker volume mod, kind of a fun little thing and a cool little thing for my collection. Now, if you think I'm sort of going down a stylophone rabbit hole, it's true, I am. I've been really trying to learn a lot about these and I actually have a stylophone history video coming. The reason I haven't made it yet is I'm trying to get all five generations of stylophone for the video and I have to borrow a couple and things like that. So anyway, um, Stay tuned for that, but there you go. That was your little cool find video for the day. And if you like what I do on this channel, please hit that subscribe button for me. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.